Let me begin with a word of prayer, hopefully free of coughing. Dear anyway, Father, we thank you for this day. Again, I thank you for the students. Pray you help us to use this time wisely, Lord, and glorify you what we do, Lord. You know, I pray. Amen. All right, so my goal today was to, I'm going to try here to uh, derive the wave equation, one dimension, and then I'll mention what it looks like in two dimensions, um, if I remember where it is in there. And then hopefully I'm going to shift over and talk about how to solve, um, like, the uh, heat equation on a, um, on a ring. And then if things go very well, how to do Laplace equations in circular domains and or how to look at non-homogeneous boundary conditions. We haven't done those yet. But um, I was reading in Haberman, and it's pretty understandable. So I'm going to try to get to that stuff. Um, anyway, let's start with uh, a string. All right. So here we're considering a string, and so what you do is you consider like a segment of it, you know, like a little segment of it. And um, so I guess this would be at um, oh, I need some some language here. So let's say this is x plus delta x, and let's suppose this one's at x. Let me say x dot, and this one over. Eh, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll find out if I'm mis missed it, making a mistake here or not. And this is at x. Um, so the idea is I'm just looking, you know, I've got some string, right? And let's say that the y coordinate of the string is, well, y. So you're, you know, you're given the string shake, and then the string vibrates y because of, um, I mean, what, what is actually going on here is that there's some, some tension in the string, right? And so if I, if I look at this little, little bit of the string sort of as a, as a, um, a little bit of mass, right? And then I can study the forces on that. And if I do it right, I can explain to you the wave equation. The question is, can I do it right today? <laughs> um, oh man, I wish I could find my silly notes. Anyway, um, all right, so let's see here. I think it's probably helpful for me to sort of exaggerate that a little bit like this, and so I've got, um, I'm trying to think of how to, um, tension, right? There's tension, tension pulling this way, and there's tension pulling that way, right? And if you think about it, we've got, what, mg going down like that, right? And what, what makes it, what makes it wave? I mean, of course, part of it's the string is being pulled down by gravity, right? But the tension force on the different sides of the little bit of string are doing what? They're, they're also pulling up and down. I mean, I suppose they're pulling left and right as well. But I think we're going to, I think if I remember right, we ignore those and we just focus on the vertical parts of the tension. So what would the vertical part of the vertical part of the tension be? Like this would be right, whereas that would be x comma y, let's say. So geometrically, um, I suppose geometrically the tension would look like this, right? But the part I'm interested in is that piece or Over here, this piece. Um, what is it? Yeah. I guess it's also down, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see here. So, um, let's see here. I'm trying to think. Um, How do I how do I get that component from say dy dx? I mean, change in y over change in x gives me the slope, right? The little line segment of the 
little bit of string, so to speak, right? This piece here. So how can I get... I'm trying to think, that gives me... That's equal to the tangent theta, right? For what theta? For theta... Where is it here? I feel like that should be... Oh, you be quiet. And, um... So what I, what I need is... I just want the y part of the tension, right? Which is going to be like sine theta, right? Times the tension. Um, let's see here. And so then what? I guess this is uh oh man. Um Are we trying to describe like the jerk being applied to I'm the try string, I'm or? trying to get the net forces on the little bit of string and then I'm gonna set I'm gonna use Newton's law to equate the time rate of change. I'm going to look at the vertical forces. Eventually I'm aiming for, you know, d squared, y dt squared. The mass is equal to the net force on m in y direction. Right. Um, Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll 